Okay, in this video I'm going to talk to you about the dangers of using sulfuric acid um, for amateur home chem chemistry experiments. Um, amateur home chemistry is something that I'm quite interested in myself and I know there's a lot of YouTube users that like to do this kind of stuff. And rather than sort of obtaining lab grade sulfuric acid, which is pretty expensive, um, you can get hold of these drain cleaners. Uh, they're all different sort of brands, but I've got one of them here, it's called Knockout. And basically, if you have a look at the sort of labelling there and everything, it's a... Uh, here we are. I don't know if you can read that, probably not. But it does say 95 to 97% sulfuric acid. Okay. Now, this stuff actually, when you pour it out, is quite black looking, okay, because it's obviously got other sort of contaminants in it. It's not pure sulfuric acid, but for most purposes, that doesn't really matter unless you're looking for super pure product at the end of your experiment. Most amateur chemists probably aren't. Okay, so what I'm going to do, like I say, is I'm going to demonstrate the dangers of using this stuff, okay. Now, if you are going to use this stuff, please do yourself a favour use protective equipment such as gloves and when I say gloves I don't mean cotton gloves or something stupid like that get yourself some substantial chemical resistant gloves such as these ones here because believe you me if you spill this stuff on your skin um, you're going to be in for a nasty surprise and also eye protection is a must okay now I've got a pair of goggles here um, they're, these ones I got out of an old chemistry set actually um, I would recommend proper um, shatter resistant proper goggles these ones here will do the trick for this experiment that I'm about to demonstrate because some eye protection is certainly better than none when you're dealing with this stuff if you get this stuff in your eyes by the way you probably end, will end up going blind so do not sort of not use eye protection, use eye protection. Now what I'm going to do in this experiment is I'm just going to demonstrate um, what happens to a simple household sponge when it's exposed to this stuff here. And what I'll do is I'll be back when I will set up for that once I've got my gloves and my eye protection on. Okay, here I am back again. I had my eye protection on, my gloves on. I poured just a wee bit of sulfuric acid I told you it looks pretty black in at the bottom of this jug. It didn't use too much. You don't really need too much for this demonstration. Just got it inside an old wok that I don't use anymore. We a wee bit of paper at the bottom, so as you can see the colour of the acid. Because the wok's a bit burnt. <laughs> okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop in this sponge here. Just a sort of common household sponge that you use for cleaning your plates. And I'm gonna drop it into the acid. Okay, and we're going to watch what happens. Oh, there we are. You can see there's something happening. The acid is very slowly starting to... Oh, there we are. It's starting to eat away at the sponge. You can see the sponge is actually moving in the acid. I'm not moving the camera, but the sponge is actually... <laughs> the acid is just devouring the sponge. Ugh, that smells actually. And as you can see, the bottom of it is already starting to look pretty sort of disintegrated looking. This will do exactly the same thing to paper and card as well. 
so the stuff is really actually pretty dangerous so like I say you're going to be using it by all means use it but be very careful where you use it and how you use it and also if you start to add water to this stuff that is a big no-no do not do that because if you add water directly to this it will actually cause the water to boil and it will spit out and it could hit your skin, it could hit your eyes, it will hit your biscuits and your clothes as well it will just make short work of your clothes, it will just destroy your clothes as you can see the sponge is starting to get totally devoured by this acid here so it's very very dangerous okay like I say you're going to use it be careful where you use it use goggles goggles are an absolute must you get this in your eyes basically it's a bad day get it in your skin the thing about if you get this stuff in your skin okay if you're unfortunate enough to get it in your skin I would recommend actually wiping it with a paper towel or something try and wipe it off as much of the excess acid as soon as you can from your skin because what happens is if you just simply rinse your hand under the tap the water will actually boil when it comes into contact with the acid and you'll actually end up with a thermal burn as well as a chemical burn so you want to be really careful I would recommend like I say if you're unfortunate enough to get this stuff on your hand wipe off the excess with a paper towel and then rinse your hand under the cold water once you've got all the excess acid off your skin and do this as quickly as you can if you get it on your skin otherwise it will just eat through your skin like it's doing to this sponge here ok I've came back a couple of minutes later and as you can see there's not really much left of the sponge there it's almost completely gone I reckon maybe another 10 minutes or so and the sponge will be gone completely um, as I said I didn't use that much acid we have a look there you can see spin it round just tilt this get the sponge a bit more coverage there tilt it the other way so like I say, if, I hope you found this video useful if you're an amateur chemist sort of messing about with this kind of stuff for Christ's sake make sure that you use your protective equipment gloves are a must and goggles are absolutely essential when you're using this sulfuric acid likewise if you're using any acid if you're using hydrochloric acid or any acid it's always good practice to use gloves and eye protection but particularly sulfuric acid if you get it on your skin or in your eyes it's, it's a bad day and also just be careful when you're washing out glassware that's contained this stuff as it could spit and it could boil and spit at you and it's pretty dangerous so just be careful where you use it use it outside I'd recommend and for Christ's sake don't use it near any food preparation equipment or anything like that and make sure if you do spill it lots and lots of kitchen roll to soak up the excess acid and then you can try using water or detergent on it don't use anything bleach based on it or chlorine based chlorine based as it will release uh, chlorine gas so don't use a bleach that contains sodium hypochlorite if you spill this stuff don't use that don't be near it with any of that stuff it, it could react and release poisonous gases okay if you look here now there we go the sponge is completely devoured so be warned folks you're going to use this stuff use it safely use it properly 